was your first reaction when you heard that verdict? Thank God it's over. For Kathy Kleiner to Shields, one of the surviving victims of the Florida State Kayamega killings, the news that Theodore Bundy was found guilty was good news. Two of her closest friends were killed that morning a year and a half ago, her roommate badly beaten, and she herself left with a broken jaw which still may need surgery. Her feelings toward the convicted murderer, Theodore Bundy? Kathy Kleiner DeShield says when she was called to testify in the courtroom, she felt that he was the one who did it, and she hopes the jury will carry the guilty verdict to what she sees as the only conclusion. It's dragged out for so long, and it's hard for everyone involved, for the victims, for the family, friends. It just, it's time to, to end it now. Let, let him have what's coming to him. Let us just, just put that past us. He took two women barely out of their teens. He took their life. Shouldn't he give his? Kathy Kleiner DeShields never went back to college because of what happened to her. Instead, she got married. The brutal Kayamega killings have left her with deep-rooted emotional scars, and her feelings are still confused. Even as she wants Theodore Bundy to receive the death penalty, she feels sympathy for the man who some describe as having had little control over what he did. You know, I'm not scared of him anymore. It's just feeling sorry for him that he could do anything like that, and for the girls, myself. Robin Lloyd, Channel 4 News.